Since he was a kid growing up in Park City, Utah, Steve Holcomb dreamed of Olympic gold. And it wouldn't be long before he learned to tame the power and speed of one of the world's most dangerous sports, bobsledding. Steve climbed up the ranks of bobsled drivers and led the U.S. to solid finishes in the 2006 Olympic Games. The future was bright. But in 2007, a blinding eye disease changed everything. I was diagnosed with keratoconus. My eyes started to degenerate over time. In 2007, I was at a point where I was either going to, you know, I was going to lose my vision or have a cornea transplant. And either way, it was going to put me out of the sport. Dreams of Olympic gold could be gone forever. Steve was devastated, but took one last chance when his team doctor sent him to renowned eye surgeon, Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler, for a radical new treatment. The C3R process is really revolutionary. We apply vitamin applications and light, and the interaction of the vitamins and the light in the cornea is actually what strengthens the cornea and transforms it to being strong and sturdy. Then special contact lenses were inserted, restoring Steve's vision to 2020, giving him a chance to make an amazing comeback. Once you're able to see and things open up again, a lot more confident. You know, I can go out there and, and drive and, and use my skills the way that they're meant to be used. And those skills were meant to earn the United States its first Olympic gold medal in bobsledding in 62 years. focused on winning the gold medal since I was a kid, and to actually be sitting here with a gold medal is, is kind of unreal. As soon as Steve and his team were announced as the winners of the gold, my emotions just overtook me. I was sobbing, tears streaming down my face. I was hugging everybody. But even more powerful was the response from the American public. Gold medal winning bobsledder. And from people all over the world who wrote thousands of emails and letters to share how Steve's story inspired them to reach new heights of their own. It is part of our universal fascination with the story of the underdog, the riveting tales of people overcoming extraordinary odds. And it goes far beyond sports.